good morning students uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about module 4 titled opamp with negative feedback and general applications of the subject or the course titled analog circuits bearing the course code or subject code 18 ec 42 it's a core subject of fourth semester bachelor of engineering degree for electronics and communication and the electronics and telecommunication engineering programs myself uh, dr prashant cr professor in electronics and telecommunication engineering of dr ambedkar institute of technology bangalore this is my mail id prashant cr dot et at draat dot edu dot in the contents of the module 4 opamp with negative feedback and general applications includes non inverting amplifier and inverting amplifier these two cases of opamp with negative feedback are discussed in detail with respect to the closed loop voltage gain input impedance output impedance and bandwidth with feedback also we will be discussing about dc and ac amplifiers summing amplifier scaling averaging amplifier instrumentation amplifier and comparators then towards the end we will be learning about zero crossing detectors and smith trigger okay so this is what is the uh, agenda for the content of this particular uh, chapter in case of uh, old in case of uh, operational amplifier with uh, negative feedback uh, we have understood that if a part of the amplifier is fed back to the input, such an amplifier is called feedback amplifier. And in feedback, uh, we will come across two types, negative feedback and positive feedback. Positive feedback is used in case of oscillators to generate the sustained oscillations. And negative feedback is used in case of amplifiers. Amplifiers are used to increase the strength of the input signal. Okay. So, operational amplifier is a device. Operational amplifier is a uh, device, electronic device. The feedback amplifier is called, is also called closed loop amplifier. The feedback forms a closed loop between the input and the output. So this is going to be the symbol. This is the symbol of the operation amplifier. It has two inputs like this. Okay, input one, input two. This can be plus, this can be minus. This is this terminal one is called non-inverting terminal. Terminal two uh, is with a negative sign is called the inverting terminal. Okay. So we are going to have feedback from the output to the input like this, right? So this input, the, this feedback input can be connected to the terminal number one, which is called a non inverting terminal. In such cases, that is called closed loop non inverting amplifier. We can also connect this feedback to the terminal number 2 with the negative sign which is called inverting terminal in such cases it is called inverting amplifier right so therefore feedback amplifier consists of two parts feedback amplifier consists of two parts namely op amp operational amplifier and then other one is feedback circuit these are the two parts of the operation, sorry, uh, 
negative feedback amplifier or in general feedback amplifier. This op amp is known to all of you. You have learned about this op amp in detail in the first uh, few, I mean the three uh, modules, right? Then coming to feedback circuit, this feedback circuit may consist of uh, active devices, passive devices or both feedback circuit may consist of both active and passive devices so this is in brief about what is feedback amplifier and non-inverting and inverting configurations and then meaning of feedback then continuing with the same this feedback can be voltage or it can be current. This feedback also can be applied in series or in parallel, in parallel or shunt. Accordingly, we are going to have four different types of feedback amplifier. One is voltage series feedback amplifier voltage series feedback amplifier second one is voltage shunt feedback amplifier voltage shunt feedback amplifier number three is current series feedback amplifier okay number four is current shunt feedback amplifier current shunt feedback amplifier four types we are going to have depending upon whether we are going to have the feedback in series or in parallel and whether we are going to have voltage as feedback or the current so based on this uh, uh, four uh, cases uh, four different types of feedback amplifier configurations we are going to have of these two of the sorry of these four we are going to discuss in detail about voltage series feedback amplifier and then voltage shunt feedback amplifier because these are the two configurations which are uh, widely used for most of the applications hence uh, these two cases voltage series feedback and voltage shunt feedback configurations are very very important for us so therefore now we consider the first one that is voltage series feedback amplifier okay this is what i explained you on the electronic slate feedback amplifier it is also called closed loop amplifier which consists of operational amplifier and the feedback circuit so based on whether voltage or current is fed back and whether it is fed back in series format or the shunt format four different types of feedback amplifiers we are going to uh, have okay. so now we start considering non-inverting amplifier with feedback which is also called closed loop non-inverting amplifier in this case we are going to understand what is closed loop voltage gain and we are going to derive the expression for the output voltage gain what is input resistance or what is uh, input impedance and then its expression we are going to write what is output impedance and then its derived expression then bandwidth with feedback right so all these four all these four parameters can be measured and uh, denoted uh, with respect to the uh, open loop system that is without any feedback that is called v naught is the output gain uh, input impedance is ri output impedance is r naught and then feedback is f that's all feedback right so whereas uh, if you have calculation of all these things in case of non-inverting or inverting amplifier with feedback 
the suffix will have f this f stands for feedback so now as i said that there are four different configurations of amplifier depending upon voltage or current and then series feedback or shunt feedback the first one we consider is voltage series feedback amplifier so on the screen you 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 are now finding the schematic of voltage series feedback amplifier here v in is the input which is fed to non inverting terminal see this is non inverting terminal this is inverting terminal vcc is the biasing voltage minus ve is biasing voltage i think this is all known to you people uh, because you have learnt about this uh, at third semester level uh, while discussing differential amplifier using bjt or fet okay and then here r1 and rf putting together constitute what is called the feedback circuit rl is the load resistance okay so then this voltage at this point non inverting terminal is denoted by v1 the voltage at inverting terminal is denoted by v2 this difference is denoted by v suffix id here v suffix id means v i here v stands for voltage i for input d for difference so this v id indicates the difference input voltage difference input voltage between these two paths these two lines or uh, this terminal between these two terminals i can say so that is v id is equal to v1 minus v2 so what is v1 what is v2 should be understood by us okay so now before passing on to exactly the meaning of closed loop voltage gain and other parameters let us understand what is the meaning of uh, this voltage gain in case of open loop system and in case of closed loop system okay so before that i am just going to uh, save this slide to have a new slide so now we have this new one okay so now what is voltage gain this is known to all of you but still we'll just define it once voltage gain so voltage gain is equal to output voltage by input voltage okay so this is generally denoted by a in the present case this is equal to output v in divided by the input difference voltage okay so this is what is exactly the open loop gain that means there is no feedback here the the, the path the path from input to output is open so therefore there is no feedback and the corresponding gain denoted by a is defined by the ratio of v not divided by v suffix id v suffix id is the input difference voltage that is the voltage appearing between non inverting and then inverting terminal that is denominator numerator is the output voltage so this is the case of open loop system so when you have the feedback with feedback <coughs> with the feedback the gain is represented by a suffix f this f represents here what feedback so what is that we are going to have the output as it is but in case of the calculation of gain with feedback we also have to include input vid along with the voltage which is fed back which is v suffix in Com full input voltage should be considered so this v in includes feedback voltage also that's why this a suffix f is different from this a 
a is the open loop gain and a suffix f is the gain of the amplifier with feedback okay so now um, that's one point another point is uh, we will go back to uh, the circuitry one second Yeah, coming to this circuitry back again, the schematic of the non-inverting amplifier here. Uh, okay, we should also talk about, we spoke about this A. We spoke about A, that is open loop again. Okay, A is understood. Next, AF, AF, that is gain with feedback is understood. Now, what about the feedback? The feedback of the circuit is denoted by beta. The feedback of the circuit is denoted by beta. Beta is defined as V suffix F divided by V naught. So what is V of? What is V naught here? Look at this schematic. V F is the voltage appearing across the resistor R1. And then V naught is the output voltage appearing between the output terminal and the common uh, terminal okay so that ratio will give us the feedback voltage so now we have the meaning of a the gain open loop case and a suffix of closed loop gain and then we know the meaning of the feedback beta which is equal to vf divided by v naught and also we have learned vid input difference is equal to what is this? V1 minus V2. So, all these things are known to us. With this much of knowledge now, uh, we are going to pass on to calculating uh, what is called the closed loop voltage gain. Okay. Right. So, now, um, VID is known to all of us. I'll just make a list of all the known things. VID is known to us, which is the input difference voltage. So this is uh, uh, is equal to V1 minus V2. This is also is equal to VID, VID minus VF. Okay. This is also equal to uh, V in. This is uh, okay. One second. Uh, VID is equal to. I'm sorry. V in minus the feedback voltage VF. So now we should know what is V in, we should know what is Vf and then we have to substitute to find uh, the Vid. Okay, so the feedback voltage here opposes. We have to understand one important thing here. Uh, as the Vid is equal to V in minus V feedback, these two voltages will be in the opposing directions. In the opposing directions. That means V in opposes vf that means the feedback what we are applying uh, opposes the input or it is uh, out of phase by 180 degree with respect to the input hence it is called hence it is called negative feedback hence it is called negative feedback students so now let us find out now let us find out closed loop voltage gain denoted by a suffix f a suffix f we have understood what is af af is defined as v naught output divided by the v suffix in okay so now this is closed loop voltage gain formula to remember so now uh, looking at uh, the diagram we can write uh, v naught is equal to a multiplied by v1 minus v2 this is one equation to be remembered and this is also another equation to be remembered okay so now from the schematic of the closed loop uh, i'm sorry from the schematic of the uh, voltage series feedback amplifier uh, non in non -con non inverting configuration uh, we find that v here you can see here this is one second i will take up the pen here yeah so this is v in 
okay one second so this is v1 this is v in so we have connection between these two points so therefore what should be v1 v1 is equal to v in yeah okay that is one point secondly this is v2 i want to know uh, and that v2 is directly connected to this point where we are measuring vf that means v2 is equal to um, vf okay so now now back to our working sheet from the schematic we are going to now have v in is equal to v in is equal to v1 very very important point and also v2 is equal to vf this vf is equal to <coughs> voltage across resistance r1 considering r1 and rf in appearing in the uh, feedback network so this is very simple uh, uh, electrical engineering uh, voltage division formula okay so if you look at this one this diagram okay so now we wanted to find out this vf voltage we wanted to find out this vf voltage understand so how do we find this uh, uh, vf voltage i wanted to measure this vf voltage so therefore what do i do is i am going to apply the voltage divide formula voltage dividing formula so is the voltage break namge so what i do is this v not is appearing between these two points and from year to year we have two resistors so therefore this v not is divided between rf and then r1 so we use voltage dividing formula that is total voltage v not that has appearing across r1 divided by sum of the two resistors will give us the voltage appearing across that particular voltage which is in this case is v sub x f therefore students i wrote this uh, uh, vf as v not into r1 divided by r1 plus r uh, rf and one more point to be remembered is input impedance of the op amp here is very much greater than 1 this is very much obvious we know that the characteristic of the op amp input impedance of the op amp is ideally very huge number right output impedance is small so like that so that is the point to be noted at this point considering this point only we have written the expression for v suffix f so next <clears throat> so now uh, let us uh, rearrange all these things okay so output um, v not is equal to now if we rearrange all these things so we have this one expression here v1 is v in okay uh, v2 is vf and if you put all these things together we are going to get an expression which is v not is equal to a into r1 plus rf multiplied by v in divided by r1 plus rf plus a into r1 so and if you further if you rewrite this expression v see here v not is there on the left hand side v in is there on the right hand side so what i do now is i am going to take the ratio of v not divided by v in because that's what is my objective that v not by v in is known to all of us it is the gain of the amplifier with feedback that is a suffix f therefore now a suffix f uh, what is required for us is equal to a multiplied by r1 plus r sub r suffix f okay divided by r1 plus rf plus a into r1 so this is the expression for closed loop voltage gain in case of non inverting amplifier voltage feedback non inverting amplifier case okay 
so now further if you want to continue okay so what expression now we have arrived at uh, is the case of a practical one it is a practical one but ideally what happens ideally what happens because uh, whenever we talk about the operation amplifier or op amp characteristics we say practical and ideal cases so the accordingly i just would like to highlight this uh, ideal uh, value of the uh, gain with feedback right so ideally what happens is this a into r1 is greater and greater than r1 plus rf this is practically experienced when you uh, dig up any circuitry in the laboratory okay and also we find one more thing that r1 plus rf plus uh, a into r1 is approximately equal to a into r1 that's because of this uh, a r1 greater and greater than r1 plus rf if we consider all these points then we can rewrite the ideal expression for gain with feedback a sub x f which is equal to uh, 1 plus 1 plus r f divided by r1 so this is what the formula that you have come across uh, in the earlier lower semesters uh, uh, in, in case of operation amplifier uh, when you consider non-inverting case your uh, gain is going to be 1 plus rf divided by r1 okay so now i am just going to open uh, one more paint sheet to continue our discussions okay yes okay so now we have the ideal case of uh, uh, gain with feedback that is 1 plus rf divided by r1 this is to be remember this is the um, ideal case students ideal case so next we should also now talk about uh, the feedback see the feedback is the voltage that is appearing across r1 okay so v naught is fed back to input side through the feedback network and that feedback network consists of two resistors r1 and rf out of the voltage output voltage v naught the voltage that is appearing across r1 is fed back so therefore feedback voltage factor beta is equal to vf divided by v naught and this is equal to r1 divided by r1 plus rf this is known to all of us because we understood that this uh, uh, vf is equal to uh, r1 into v naught divided by r1 plus rf that is voltage dividing formula i explained you few uh, minutes back so based on that one uh, we are continuing our uh, discussion so therefore here beta is equal to okay r1 divided by r1 plus rf this again this again uh, shows that this a suffix f and then beta or reciprocal to each other that is af is equal to 1 by beta or beta is equal to 1 by af so now based on whatever we have learned so far we can also have a relationship between we can also have a relationship between af and a what is the relationship between af and a so what is a here a is the gain of the amplifier without feedback af is the gain of the amplifier with feedback what is the relationship so this relationship can be deduced very easily from the results we have obtained so far so from the results we have obtained so far that is the earlier equations we can uh, uh, rewrite them that is uh, a suffix f is equal to a multiplied by r1 plus rf divided by r1 plus rf in the denominator it's r1 plus rf divided by r1 plus rf multiplied by sorry uh, sorry plus plus a into r1 divided by r1 plus rf so if you simplify and then 
rewrite this re relation then you are going to find that a sub x f is equal to a divided by 1 plus a into beta so this is what is the relationship between the gain a in case of open loop system and the gain a sub x f in case of closed loop system so here a is called the open loop gain a sub x f is called the closed loop gain and then beta is called the gain of the feedback circuit this a sub x sorry a into beta is called loop gain a into beta is called loop gain so this is about the closed loop gain of the non inverting feedback amplifier i think it's clear to all of you so based on all these discussions we can write this block diagram of the non inverting case feedback amplifier like this so this is the amplifier <coughs> with gain a and then we are going to have its output that is uh, v not and this is fed with uh, uh, input v in and then we are going to have the feedback so this is feedback network is the lower block feedback factor is uh, uh, b to which we are applying uh, the voltage v not the feedback voltage is denoted by v sub x f which is the output of the feedback network and then we are going to apply this feedback uh, like this right so there is going to be a mixer or adder right so this is a, a plus and then this is the summer we are going to have this vf with minus sign here and then this is this 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 input to the uh, op amp or amplifier is going to be the difference between v in and the vf so this is what is the essence of the discussions uh, uh, we had so far okay so the next point uh, to be understood now is about the difference input voltage we have to show that the difference input voltage is uh, zero so how do we show that We have to show that the difference input voltage is zero. So now, uh, so far we have learnt that uh, the output voltage is equal to a multiplied by input difference voltage V I D. Or this equation V I D can also be written as V naught divided by a. So here we also have understood that a is a very large number. the open loop gain of the operational amplifier is infinity ideally so therefore this if a is infinity then then what is your vid what happens to vid vid becomes zero the difference voltage at the input is zero so this implies what this implies v1 is approximately equal to v2 then only it is possible for this vid to be zero so when once we say v1 is equal to v2 we can also say that uh, uh, what is this sorry one second v1 is equal to v in it is known to us and then v2 is equal to the feedback voltage vf is known to us so now what happens to v2 in this case v2 is equal to output voltage multiplied by the resistance r1 divided by r1 plus rf this is voltage division formula so now we have this equation b and then we have this equation a v1 is equal to v2 if you combine these two equations then we are going to get that v in is equal to output voltage into r1 divided by r1 plus rf this again implies this again implies if you rearrange these things v not by v in which is actually the gain of the amplifier with feedback is equal to 1 plus rf divided by r1 so this is what is uh, the expression for closed loop voltage gain in case of non inverting amplifier case so next uh, to uh, next topic is what is the uh, input resistance what is the input resistance 
of the non inverting amplifier using op amp that is with feedback r suffix i into f this f stands for uh, with feedback okay so now we have to derive the expression for the same so now before uh, deducing the expression for input resistance with feedback we have to go through the corresponding uh, schematic necessary to find the input resistance okay so now this is what is the expression we derived uh, with respect to the voltage closed loop voltage gain of the uh, non inverting amplifier and then these are all the discussions we had i'm just putting i just put it on the slides for students understanding yes. so now to see the schematic to understand hmm, to understand how to find the input resistance now uh, to find the input resistance so what is the input resistance definition with feedback so with feedback with feedback see this is what we have indicated here r suffix if r suffix if is the input resistance with feedback r i is the input resistance without feedback that should be clear to all of us so this is what is the r suffix if if you look at from this side okay what should be the input impedance what should what should be the input uh, resistance so that's what is the important thing to be understood by all of us here ri should be understood what is ri <clears throat> ri is the open loop or i is the open loop input resistance or i is the open loop input resistance or if is the closed loop input resistance so now we have to <coughs> write the definition of the same <coughs> what is r suffix i f that is equal to the ratio of voltage by current which voltage input voltage which current that is input current okay so v in divided by r in so let us keep v in as it is it is known to all of us what is i in i in is v i d divided by r i now r i is playing the role here i'll go back to schematic to make you people understand what are all these things you see here okay see here this is vid okay so here uh, uh, ri is the input impedance which is appearing here which is uh, uh, the input resistance due to no feedback okay so this should be known to us so the ratio of these two will give me that is vid by ri will be give me uh, i in i in i in means input current without feedback that's what i said so when we take the ratio of these two okay what do we get we are going to get the input resistance with the feedback understand so now i'll go back to my working sheet here okay so now from the schematic from the schematic we have uh, we have understood that vid is equal to output divided by a this is also known to us once again output is also known to us that it's equal to a divided by 1 plus a beta multiplied by v in because uh, this whole lot is af which is v out by v in i have just taken this v in to the right hand side so now from all these equations we find that r suffix if is equal to r i multiplied by v in in the numerator in the denominator it's going to be v naught by a v naught by a is v i d v naught by a is v i d this is known to us so now this is again equal to r i is input impedance without the uh, feedback and then this uh, 
ये आई विल टेक आउट सेपरेटली दिस ये द रेस्ट इज वॉट इज रेस्ट ये द रेस्ट इज वी इन डिवाइडेड बाई ए इंटू वी इन दट इज वी नॉट एंड देन इट इज डिवाइडेड बाई वन प्लस ए बीटा वन प्लस ए बीटा सो इयर वी कैन कैंसल दिस ए एंड ए वी इन एंड देन वी इन एंड देन वी आर फाइनली गोइंग टू हैव आर सफिक्स आई एफ आर सफिक्स आई एफ इज इक्वल टू दिस आर आई दिस आर आई मल्टीप्लाइड बाय व्हाट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन सॉरी वन प्लस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन प्लस ए इनटू बीटा सो दिस इज व्हाट इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इनपुट इंपिडेंस विद फीडबैक इन टर्म्स ऑफ इनपुट ओपन लूप इनपुट इंपिडेंस ओपन लूप गेन एंड देन फीडबैक फैक्टर बीटा फीडबैक गेन बीटा सो व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मींस दैट input resistance with the feedback is equal to 1 plus a beta times 1 plus a beta times the open loop input resistance or open loop or without the feedback so this is about the expression for uh, input impedance with feedback so now uh, let us uh, stop at this point and continue from the next point in the next class so we have to summarize the contents that we have uh, learned so far so to summarize today we understood uh, what is feedback what is feedback amplifier okay then we learned four different types of feedback amplifiers using uh, uh, operation amplifier that is voltage series feedback amplifier voltage sent feedback amplifier current series and then current sent amplifier four types in that we considered voltage series feedback amplifier we derived the expression for closed loop voltage gain in case of non inverting amplifier and then we understood or we derived the expression for input impedance in the next class we are going to deduce the expression for uh, output uh, impedance of the amplifier with Uh, with feedback and then we discuss about the feedback also so sorry bandwidth also so what is the bandwidth required uh, in case of a feedback amplifier so once uh, we uh, understand output impedance with feedback bandwidth with feedback that completes the discussion on non inverting closed loop amplifier and then we will be passing on to the voltage shunt amplifier with the feedback to uh, understand all this gain input output impedance and then bandwidth of the amplifier in the next class so i am going to stop at this point students uh, will uh, uh, continue our discussion from the uh, next class thank you